Hi, my name is Reese Guida, but today I'm going to show you how to track successful logins outside of the US using our platform. As you can see, this is the dashboard home page, but turn your attention to the left side of the screen and scroll down until you see analytics right in the middle there. Click on it and then scroll down to the drop down menu until you see custom queries. Click that. We're going to add a new query. So this is where we can create our queries, but we're going to be monitoring successful logins outside the US from Office 365. So at the bottom of this menu, you can see show recent login events. We'll click on that. OK, here are the results. Now remember, we want to see successful logins from outside of the US. So the only columns we need to pay attention to are status and country. We'll start with the country first. Hover over the United States. You'll see that there's a check mark and a filter. Because we want to see successful logins from outside of the US, we're going to show login events where US is excluded. So we're going to hit that check mark. As you can see, there's no more results for logins within the US, only outside of the US. The next step is to filter successful logins. We'll do the same thing. Hover over succeeded and you'll see the check mark and the filter again. We only want to see successful, so we're going to click the filter this time rather than the check mark. Okay, our custom query has been configured and these are the 59 results. But in terms of everyday use, you'll want to be able to see this on your dashboard. So we're going to save this query. We'll call it successful logins outside US. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll give it a severity of high. And we're going to set up an alert for this. And then from there, we'll save the custom query. All right, it's in the system. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to replace one of these widgets at the top with our custom query so that you can see how actionable these events will become. Click the gear at the top right of whichever widget you choose, replace with custom query, and voila! It automatically populated with the query I recently saved. Now from what's loaded, you can infer that the 59 at the bottom is the total number, and the 13 is, as it says, changed since three months ago. But we're going to want to name this so that you can quickly identify it on your dashboard. We'll do that by clicking the gear, and then going to Configure Top Widget. We'll call this Recent Successful Logins Outside US. We'll save that. Great, it's showing our changes. Now we'll want to do the same for the bottom so that we can differentiate these numbers and really get the value from this widget. We'll call this total number of successful logins outside the US. And we'll save that. Thanks for listening to this demo on how to monitor successful logins outside of the US. My name is Reese Guida, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about this tutorial or our product. Thank you for listening.